So, uh, I just went to record one of these videos on another subreddit, and what happened is that when I loaded up OBS, my recording software, I clicked preview stream just to make sure that my webcam was showing up and that my mic was registering, all that good stuff. Well, when you do that, it disables your recording hotkey so that it doesn't actually start the recording if you hit it. Well, I, I just, I, I hit my recording hotkey recorded the whole thing or so I thought and I, I didn't actually it didn't record so that's why we're on the facepalm subreddit right now because um that's what I'm feeling like I wonder what the red thing is back there that's that creator sash ribbon from the 10 million subscriber play button video it reminds me when I walk in here in case I've forgotten that I'm a creator at my computer creator who creates videos that don't actually exist because they didn't record so let's start off with stop those people from reproducing. Good, we're already jumping into a possibly political thing. Let's just, here we go. In the 1980s, A&W tried to compete with the McDonald's Quarter Pounder by selling a third pound burger at a lower cost. The product failed because most customers thought a quarter pound was bigger. <sighs> you know what? If I were the CEO of A&W at that time, and my product failed because people thought that a third was less than a quarter, I think I would just sell all my shares and then I would have jumped on with Elon Musk trying to figure out how to get a Mars mission going. Except back in the 1980s because I would be quite done. How do you how do you actually like measure that that's why it failed? You survey people like, why would I get a quarter of a pound? Why would I get a third of a pound when I get a quarter? From over here, it's bigger. And they're just like looking at this market research at A&W like, are we, what? We're failing because people don't know fractions? There's no way, this is not real life. You can't be mad at yourself, you can't. It's just not, it's not possible. Apparently a quarter is four times bigger than one. So there, there you go, folks. This survey, do you think it's easier being male? Oh, whew, or female? I was about to be like, we're gonna have to give this one a skip, nope. Nope, we're good, we're okay. Do you think it's easier being male or female? Yes, I, I do. I do agree it's easier being male or, or female because at least I'm not a snail. Because snails, you know, they, if, if you get salt on you, you, you boil and die and it kind of sucks. So at least I'm a male or female, human. I assume that this means human, right? So, you know. It's, it's better being human than, say, something else that can be stepped on, I would have to say. And now someone's going to be mad and be like, what? Spiders rights! Don't you talk down to spiders! I love them, and they deserve to be equal in the eyes of the law. All right? Jeez. Well, obviously there are male and female spiders as well, so maybe this counts for them. You never know. Just made a joke about uh, an Infinity War spoiler. Dud. Dude, why you gotta spoil Infinity War like that? Wait, are you joking? I hope so. No, you said spoiler in the chat. Did you actually read it? Yes, is the first thing that pops up. Can you please recite what is said? It says Batman dies in Infinity War. <laughs> yeah, you know, Marvel out here talking about the most ambitious crossover event of all time. They brought in Batman. They somehow got the rights from DC to do that. So it's pretty impressive. You got to give them credit. When they said it was the most ambitious crossover, like, it's ambitious. Just for someone who, if someone here who hasn't seen it, it's not just... It's a joke. It's not actually, Batman's not in the movie. There's no way that ever happens. I just want to be clear about it, all right? Just to be clear, we're good. Anyway, moving right along. Saw this on Unpopular Opinion. Women should have to take a DNA test too to see if the kid is theirs. Should we tell them? I think 15 people tried to tell them. I don't know if they were successful or not, but you know, it's sometimes it's pretty tough as a woman to tell if, if you gave birth or not. I, it, sometimes you just, you know, it can be really painful. They'll give you some painkillers. You just forget the whole thing happened. And you're like, wait a minute. I didn't, I was, what? What do you, how did this happen here? Nine, the last nine months, I was totally fine. Not, I don't remember any of this <laughs> taking place. I mean, I suppose this could be a thing, possibly if there's a worry that the hospital mixed up babies or something like that. It's like an accidental taking the wrong baby, which has happened before. But otherwise... Yeah, um, uh, maybe he'll figure it out. Not the best political climate, bud. Oh God, this has this has the word political in the title. Well, let's just see what we got here. Philip White, vote for the white guy. It's just a scrappy design because the pun he was going for was vote for the right guy, but then they didn't realize that it just, it's vote for the white guy. Like, oh, 
Yeah, we didn't actually mean it to be that way. It just, oh. Yeah, somehow nobody in our campaign HQ caught that one. Sorry about that. Yeah, maybe this isn't our best campaign approach. <laughs> I also don't like to vote for whites and white walkers, personally. They're trying to encroach, like this, there's not even snow here, and they're trying to make our way into places where there's no snow. That's really worrisome, honestly. So we need to keep an eye out. This family didn't get the idea of a safari park and got out to get a closer look at the animals. Really, did, did they? Now, oh, that seems like a smart thing to do. Why, you know what? I'm very surprised that there even exists a place like this where people are able to like drive their own cars through the place where they have the ability to get out of the car and are like not even accompanied by a tour guide because this is gonna happen. I like how this woman holding a baby is like just waving her arm at this cheetah. Excuse me, but why? You're not following the rules of the park. When you were brought here into captivity, you were told keep a safe distance from the wild animals inside of the moving cars, okay? And you're not doing that right now, and I'm gonna ask for my money back because you were supposed to follow the rules that you were told when you got here, all right? I'm, you're supposed to move away from me and smile at me when I look at you after I've gotten out of my vehicle. Remember, we live in a world where people think that a third is less than a quarter. So is this really a surprise? Nah. This Amazon review. Corsair Graphite Series 380T Mini ITX Portable PC Case Black. One star because, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, there is this on my, I don't wanna say it cause I'm gonna get demonetized, okay? But Corsair's reply is this is due to the way the human eye perceives LEDs moving that fast which I would be inclined to agree with. Let me just check my computer real quick. Yep, it actually, it's got a pretty similar pattern on the fan on my PC. I didn't really look closely enough to ever think of that before, but you know, at first, what I really thought this was gonna be, which would be a true face palm, is I bought this case, and when I hit the power button, it doesn't even boot up. I plugged it into my monitor and everything. I, I just, I inserted the DVI cables into the whole empty holes where the motherboard would usually go and the graphics card would go. And I just, it won't even turn on. This sucks. <laughs> That's what I thought it would be at first, but then it went that way. I wonder which answer they were going for. What power plant would you prefer to have near your home? Large, ugly solar panels, loud windmills, a hydro dam that doesn't make any noise, burning coal that will pollute the air. I, th I think possibly Maybe they're trying to encourage you to choose the hydro dam, maybe. I like how they, I, <laughs> it's like you start off with large ugly solar panels and then you talk about the hydro dam not making any noise. Well, the solar panels don't make any noise either. So you could have just as easily said solar panels, you could have spelled it right too, uh, they don't make any noise, but instead you decided to put the positive one on the hydro dam, so. This big hydro here trying to trying to get you to vote in a particular fashion. I, I wonder like does this then end up going to some city council? And it's like, look, we did a survey of people, and 90% of them thought that a hydro dam was a good idea. Yeah, we may have just made everything else look shitty, but they all voted for the hydro dam. Why are solar panels so bad, dude? Get, oh my god, there might be an agenda here. Maybe. Hollywood Reporter forgot to check the article. Avengers Infinity War. First reactions from the premiere. Here's a sampling of what the premiere audience is saying about Avengers Infinity War. Just got out of the Avengers Infinity War premiere. The movie is incredible, epic beyond compare. It's everything you want it to be. Iron Man and Captain America fork within the first 15 minutes. Marvel fans are gonna love this one. Just like Iron Man loves Captain America. Easily top five. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry guys, I, uh, I was trying to stay away from the Infinity War spoilers, but this is also a quality post here on this subreddit. So it doesn't really, it doesn't spoil the rest of the movie though. All right, it doesn't really give away any plot points. It's just, it's right off the bat. We just start off with that. And then it doesn't really impact anything else other than, you know, it solves some of the tension that was there between Iron Man and Cap in, in the whole Civil War movie, but it, they're just trying to ease off the tension, and then the movie proceeds from there. Anyway, that's, it's just, don't worry about it. It's fine. Did you check the dishwasher? Airbnb hosts review of me. Guests stole my dishes. I'm missing nine glasses, seven plates, two cooking pans, and most of my silverware. 
Hmm, sounds like the dishwasher load we loaded before we left. To him, did you check the dishwasher? Him, oh, I will check the dishwasher, that's a good idea. You see, your problem here is you tried to be a nice, courteous human being. And we live in a world where people think a third of a pound is less than a quarter pound. So what people expect is for you to just leave your dishes strewn about the house with sticky, gross residue all over them. So that whoever they hire to clean in between guests will just tend to it. Alright? You tried to take that initiative and, and be kind. And that's not what you do in this world, okay? When people expect the worst of you, just be the worst of you. Alright? And then you won't have to worry about people leaving you negative reviews. The review will be, ah, oh, everything was as expected. Checks out. Rather than, oh, this person was so nice, they must have stolen my dishes. So, in the future, be a worse person. Thanks. Guy posts picture of his puppy on Facebook. Someone didn't like it. Not safe for work, apparently. Click to see, not safe for work. Oh boy. Oh, it actually, it's a puppy. <laughs> Okay, all right, well then. That looks like a penis. And I honestly, at first glance, kind of thought it was too. And I was like, I am so sorry that that is yours. But oh, 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 it's it's a puppy. Okay, whew. All right, uh, this post goes against our standards. We've hidden this post because it doesn't follow our community standards. It'll be deleted from Facebook soon. This is probably algorithmic. You know, I'm sure that Facebook has dick detection software and Whenever I think about dick detection software, I just think someone had to look at a lot of dicks in order to provide a baseline for the machine learning to then take over. Someone had to be like, here, algorithm, this is an actual, they had to get like every possible angle and oh, it's being slightly obscured by something, every, just any combination they could ever think of, of a, of a dick for the machine learning to start. Someone had to have that job. Come home from a long, hard day at work. Honey, how was your day? Well, you know, it's just the 20th straight day of looking at thousands of penises, so um, But we're on the home stretch. We think we're almost there. It just occasionally confuses dicks with puppies, and we gotta work out that one, but once we're done with that one, like, man, finally get back to my, what I dreamed of doing out of college, which was not this. Next up, well, fork me dead. Where the fork am I standing then? If you think you've been to Australia before, you're terribly wrong. <laughs> All right, well, I, hey, I'm right then, because I've never been to Australia. So thanks for validating. I thought there was a chance that I had just gone there at some point and like, oh, well, I guess for sure I haven't now. Flat Earther's latest viral conspiracy claims Australia isn't real. You hear that, people from Australia watching this? You obviously don't exist. You're, it's just bots that are leaving comments. Very, very intelligent bots that seemingly know how to leave coherent comments. It's kind of impressive, actually. They can watch the videos and they can respond to it. Like, Google must really be trying to acquire whatever powers Australia. <laughs> okay, can I just say something? I stay away from political opinions, but the fact that I even have to consider whether or not Flat Earth is a political opinion that I need to not address, address no, I feel like that would mean that they win. And that's not okay. Uh-uh. The Earth is, is spherical, yes, with some deviations due to mountains and valleys and oceans, and yes, okay, I realize not a perfect sphere, but it's not goddamn flat, and Australia doesn't not exist. The whole Flat Earth thing had to start as someone trolling, and then people just jumped on board and were like, yeah, a third of a pound is less than a quarter pound, and I won't hear anything else. I, I'm sticking to my guns on this one. Uh, that one's gonna be political. So, if you want a lift, I expect money. I'm not a bloody taxi service. If you want a lift, I expect money. That would make you a taxi service. He does raise a fair point there, I'm not gonna lie. Also, if you do feel like getting money in exchange for giving people rides, there are some apps for that, even if you don't want to be a taxi. So, you have some options. I'd like to think this is in response to someone being like, hey, I hate to be an inconvenience, but my car is in the shop right now, and um, I could just, I could use a ride just uh, a couple miles. If you don't mind, just inconvenience, no problem. And then the response, I'm not a bloody taxi service, you better pay me. It's like, okay, all right, I thought we were friends, but apparently uh, I overvalued our relationship. Comma, Robbie, at the hospital, and my grandpa is still sick, and I have to watch him forking a man tonight is gonna suck. Oh, oh, you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, Robbie, I think a comma would help there. I have to watch him. Fork and A, man, tonight is gonna suck. Okay, yes, I was like, I was reading that wrong at first. 
Robbie. That's forked up, man. My grandpa already sick and the last thing he needs to be put in a coma. <laughs> oh my God, it just got even better. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that one coming. And that was so good. This is, this is the best. This is the best one ever. Oh, if this isn't the top post of all time on Facepalm, I don't know, it's actually, it's probably not. It's probably a political post and that's why I've never sorted by top of all time here on Facepalm, so. Robbie. Thank you for the gold. I really appreciate it. This is brilliant. The most quality. I feel like most of the time, I'll think that, you know, the top post of the month is good, but there will be another one that I'm like, oh, I was more of a fan of that. This, 100%, number one, by like a wide margin. It might only have a very small percentage gap between one and two, but no, this, this is the greatest by like a long way. <laughs> Robbie, you genius. I'm sorry that you had to watch your grandpa forking a man, I'm sorry you had to witness that. Nobody deserves to witness their relatives doing things like that. But anyway, your struggle has provided great content. So thank you, appreciate your sacrifice. Uh, and I hope your grandpa's better, actually. Best wishes. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the uh, playlist in the description if you want to catch up on any more of these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to listen to the music playing in the background, link is in the outro over on Marin Music. I'll see you next time.